Okay gals, here I am. I thought I would show you guys some of my winter fashion favorites. Don't mind the little tree down there. I was taking a picture down there and I totally forgot it was down there. Can you see the little things of Clorox wet wipes down there too? Anyways, okay. So California is totally playing me because it'll be like 85 degrees one day, 60 degrees the other. I don't know how to dress, but I thought I would show you guys some of my like staple things. Like these are the things that I cannot live without once the weather gets cold. Um, so I thought I would share with you guys some of those things and where I got them and stuff like that. How are you guys doing? You guys, I did just film a video before this, um, but I haven't like sat down and filmed a video in almost, it feels like a month. Maybe it's been a month. I don't know. So I just thought I should say hi. <laughs> I noticed that there are some new people here, so welcome. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos you've watched so far. As you get to know me, you'll realize that I like a lot of different things, thus my channel a little about a lot. Okay, so I actually got two of these, but um, my daughter borrowed one the other day and I can't find it. But I really love a good chunky knit floppy beanie or toque, as they say in Canada. Um, I got this one from Ross and the other one I got from Ross too. But look, instantly, hello Christmas. So cute. I feel like if your hair is dirty and gross, you just do this and your hair looks cute. You could always do a braid, greasiness averted. Um, this one I got from Ross and it was $4.99 or $5.99. I got two of them, like I said, and they were both under $6 each, so that's always good. Um, this is one of those items that I was always scared to buy, but once I bought it, I see how it just kind of schnazzes up any outfit. I get that it's not for everyone. I thought it wasn't for me, and now I love it. I bought this at Target a year ago or two years ago, but I feel like every time winter comes around, some sort of variation of the faux fur vest comes out. I actually had another one before this that I got some sort of gunk on it and I couldn't get off. So this went on clearance. I want to say two years ago and I feel like if you have any sort of just like simple outfit even if it's just like a simple t-shirt and jeans and converse you throw this on and all of a sudden you look and feel super fancy um, and it does add that extra layer of warmth as well so this one's from Target now I have way too many of these <laughs> to show you them all but I would really suggest some sort of super comfy oversized cardigan knit thing. This one is from Forever 21 and it's actually one of those like one size fits most which those usually don't fit me because I'm 5 foot 10. I'm not like a little petite girl but it's still oversized and chunky on me. This one is at long sleeve too so I love that I can wear it kind of over anything and it just totally adds like that cozy element to it and then I have a couple as well that are long sleeve. I also like the ones that are like long, like to the back of your knee type of length. That way if you're wearing a dress or something like that, you kind of get that coverage um, and warmth, but you still get the look that you want. So chunky knit cardigan, are we taking notes? A lot of these things I didn't know I needed in my life until I got them and then now I cannot live without it. Okay, I wear the sweater almost every day and it's embarrassing, but um, I got this from Pink Blush and it's this oversized sweater in this mustardy color. It's super loose, it covers my butt. Um, I love the color of it and I love that it covers my hands. Because I'm tall and I have super long arms, I very rarely have things that come to here. So I just love this. This is so good just for lounging, for going out and you just look so cute and cozy. And you can even just do a top knot and not really even get ready. Wear your glasses out and you just look instantly cute. I think it's so cute. Now I have a whole bag of these and I can't find them. They're in my garage somewhere in one of those like vacuum sealed pack, but the oversized tartan scarf. These are like the super big ones. Um, usually they're called like a blanket scarf or whatever. I love Jessica Alba's style. I feel like she always just looks really like sleek and classy and she does the scarf so well. So this is just one of those like super huge scarves. 
that you can wear. It looks super cute if you have your hair in a ponytail. Throw on some hoop earrings. Ooh, it just gave me static. Hoop earrings, and look at how cute this is. Um, so this one I got off of Amazon, and I'll share the link. They have so many different colors. I think I've gotten like four or five off of them. You can find these at like Marshalls or Ross or whatever as well. I just like the ones that are a lot bigger, so I go for the full-on blanket scarf. And these ones are so soft. And so it literally can double as a blanket. And I have used these as blankets many a time when my kids were smaller and it was colder I would just take my scarf off and let them use it as a blanket when I was still nursing these are perfect for throwing over your shoulder and nursing it's just so versatile I love these I really wish it would get colder here because right now if I were to wear this I'd be sweating so if you're in colder climates definitely go for that I would recommend either a leather or a faux leather jacket I have a couple they're all not real this one I got off of Target a couple of years ago it has this is like my dressier one it has little puff sleeves and it's kind of fitted throughout the body but this makes any outfit look a little bit more dressy especially when it's cold outside without being like a bulky puffer jacket type of deal and these kind of jackets because there's no collar it looks really cute with a scarf on top as well so this is one of my favorite jackets here's another thing you didn't know you needed but i am letting you know so when you see it hanging in the store you don't just pass by these are called teddy bear vests i don't know if that's the real name i call it a teddy bear vest because you feel like a teddy bear wearing them it's just a vest with like an oversized hoodie. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me wear them. There's pockets. They are the softest fabric in the land. <laughs> and so I have one in beige, one in green. It makes any outfit transition from like summer to fall, fall to winter, so cozy. I wear it a lot when I'm at home as well just because it gives me that extra cozy feeling. My battery's dying, so we're gonna go really fast. The last three things are just shoes. I would invest in a good pair of black short boots. These are very casual. I actually have two of these um, and I wear them almost every day. They go with every outfit. I wish that I had invested in good boots like this sooner. These are Lucky Brand. You can get them at like Marshalls, TJ Maxx. They are a little more expensive than I'm used to, but so, so worth it. Every couple of years, I try to replace mine because I've always bought the cheaper ones. These ones I've been eyeing for like four years. <laughs> Has it been four years? Anyways, I was at Nordstrom Rack the other day and they were on clearance and it was my it was my actual birthday so I was like you know what happy birthday to me I am investing in these and I already can tell that these are gonna last so much longer than the cheaper ones because these ones are real leather and they go with so many outfits and I'm doing December so it helps with all the dresses but I really can't wait to wear them with like skinny jeans and a cardigan and then the very last thing before my battery dies is a cute pair of flats I got these ones at Ross for $15 they remind me of Tinkerbell and I just feel like it just adds a cute little punch to any outfit keeps you comfortable but um kind of has that like wintry feel to it so that is it for my winter fashion favorites i hope you guys are doing really well if you have some fashion essentials for winter please let me know i will try to find links to as many of these things as i can um, i know some of them might be outdated but i'll try to maybe find something that is comparable so i hope you guys are all doing really well i hope you are having a wonderful december so far and i will talk to you later bye